What is up, it's Figure Hunter, and today I want to talk about the Whoop Advanced Labs that was announced or released for those of you that signed up and put your name on the wait list and got access to it because it is really, really awesome. Um, you know, as somebody who takes their blood work every year and pays an outside company or pays my primary care physician to take my blood work and have it be not the full range of markers that I want tested to see what Whoop is doing, but making immediately useful because you can upload your previous lab results. It is really, really awesome. And so this is going to be sort of a cobbled together video of just ideas and thoughts. And I'll have like more of a full review later, but I just have to show it. So first off, you can go in, you can sign up for advanced labs. You basically pay 200 bucks for a single visit, or you can pay less per visit on other times. I just need one visit for now. But the Results of what you get, and what we're going to look at is we're going to look at labs I've, I've uh, uploaded on my own before I get the actual labs that I went and tested today. So I got a notice at like 2 o'clock that I was in, enrolled in advanced labs. I signed up for a 310 lab result because I was intermittent fasting today, so I'd already been fasting all day and just drinking a lot of water. And so I'll have my results in like two to four days and it'll all upload. But what's so awesome about what they are doing is that they can read and scan any previous lab results and you can automatically get directionable specifics that ties in your specific training history and your food intake history. Cause I have my fitness pal and it uploads all my food nutrients in there. And so let's just take a look at some of the things we'll talk about it in a scattered set. Okay. So you have the lab summary. This is what you're going to get, except you have all 65 markers. So I uploaded some lab core work I had done that was as comprehensive a panel. I paid $200 for it and I did it once a year, last two years. I uploaded a PDF, which is all this information numbers on it. And it just read it all and uploaded it. It's freaking awesome. And then on top of it is sifted out the things that were out of range. And this has got a story to it that is actually super worthwhile to hear or to listen to. Because I've been paying for these lab results for two years and I would see the things that were out of line and I would make some actionable change because of that. But even my primary care physician who typically orders a weaker panel of labs um, didn't even give me good feedback when I sent it to him. So it, it just wasn't help. It's like this, Whoop's taking like an integrative health approach and putting it on your phone where it's just easily accessible. So catch this. So here are my out of range things. So I had sodium out of range or I had low sodium or something wrong with that. I'd have cramping periodically. And so it says you got your chlor chloride balance is low. So that's the aspect that affects a couple of other really cool things that what this does is when you go into one of these metrics, it'll tell you, um, what each of these filters are for. So you can see that with nutrient status and fitness, some of these things are related directly to components that you will see pop up underneath um, each of the components themselves. Let me see if I can find another one. So like you have a, a weird one like this one. I don't know what this is, but it talks about metabolic health. It, it gives you the fields that it's related to. So you have all these markers and then you can look in and see information about why is that marker important or what does it tell me about anything in the world? So then these out of range markers, this chloride marker, which I thought was sodium, I was taking, um, element for the last year and I go in and it's still a little bit low and I go into the coach and it, you can, take um your low markers and it'll tell you why it matters but it'll put it in the context of what you've been eating how your training's been looking and your water take so look at this it says your chloride is this it tells me all these different things your routines and habits because i drink a gallon of water a day it says like that's a big problem and your sodium intake is high but that's not really the issue that's going to solve it and so i said well i take element uh, or how do i improve it without uh while still keeping my water intake high because I'm still going to drink a gallon a day. And it said full spectrum electrolytes, potassium rich food. So I said, well, I take element. I said that to the AI, that's not helping it. And it's like, okay, well, you know, element provides a bunch of sodium, but it doesn't provide enough magnesium or potassium, but just specifically potassium. And that's why relying on that is not going to be as good. And so I'd like, I'd love recommendations for other electrolytes that could help me. But if you think about this in a simple point, what it did is it took my lab that showed a weakness. It explained to me what that weakness was. It took in my training and, 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 and water intake and my nutrition intake and told me why that possibly could be happening. It overlaid AI to tell me when I had responses back, like, hey, I'm taking element. I didn't log that in my 
my fitness pal why that might be faulty and i've been taking the supplement for two years to try to change what i thought was a sodium issue when it's chloride which could have been done with a different supplement that focused more on potassium or by eating more potassium because i really haven't fixed that problem so it took something that i had been self-diagnosing and provided feedback through an interactive ai looking at all of my history and training and food intake and giving me specific reasons why my current plan didn't work that is holistic medicine that is holistic medicine because my training on some of these other ones like my markers were off there was one and again this is sort of all over the place there was one that it told me you probably aren't taking enough uh uh deload weeks because you you know oh, here it is here it is here it is here it is this is it's all over the place but this one was like hey this tracker has to do with some strength training issues and sleep and recovery but you're, you're relatively fine on your sleep. So it probably means you're not taking enough deload time. And that's a hundred percent true. I do not take enough deload time and it's affecting this marker. Now, I don't know, I can ask more back and forth what this marker is or how it would affect things, but it's a marker that indicated, and it gave me an explanation for it and took, looked at my training and told me why it was probably happening because my sleep was fine. Cause it knows my sleep, my health was fine. My, my protein intake was fine. It knows those things, high protein, everything's fine, but it, it identified what the real problems were. And that is awesome. So what it, I mean, even today, I just signed up for this and I already have high quality direction, not to mention that the lab work I'm getting is a gotten from asking my primary care physician and paying the most I could possibly pay at LabCorp the same price. And so anybody that thinks it's too expensive is wrong. If you look at what you pay at your primary care physician, it's over $200 typically for out of pocket or an HSA plan. And LabCorp, I pay $200 and that's the diagnostics. It's going to have a clinical re report. And I'm also going to be able to pull all those same labs off Quest Diagnostics directly, but it's going to give me insights and then upload it into all these parameters with other specificity. On top of the fact that, that it already is looking for things that your regular panels don't cover like APOB or C reactive protein, which is a inflammation marker. And so it's taking in advanced markers. It's look, it knows your training history and your food history if you've been feeding it all the information it could use and providing actionable explanation and actionable insights as well as interactive ai to how you can curb and change that nutrient deficiency in whatever way you can want or need so why am i so fired up about this well because i've been paying out of pocket for two years i've been asking my primary care physician i've been looking at my lab results and trying to make sure now my lab result doesn't have any markers that are really off but i'm not getting all the markers that I want to get in order to be able to have a clear picture of a broader, more holistic health analysis. So this is accomplishing that. But what it's fired up to me is that in two hours of having this activated and uploading a lab, the fact that it could read a huge PDF and just compile it within, I don't know, 10 minutes into all of this useful information. It read an old PDF and it compiled it all this. It, that's so awesome. Um, but on top of that, it's given me in two hours time, much clear and specific direction about an issue that I have with one of my markers and how I could change it and an issue I have with another marker and what's probably causing it. All of that is, is next level guidance, next level holistic health. And that's why I'm making this jumbled video because I just got to get it out there because it is legit. $200, 100% worth it. Every lab in America will probably charge you $200 just to get a week, half, but panel of information that has no actionable insights, no clarity, no direction, none of those types of things. So this is awesome. So to recount, you'll get an invitation to join. If you ask, add, add it on the wait list, if you get past that, or maybe you didn't put your name on the wait list, I think you'll eventually get access to it. Unfortunately, it won't maybe be right away. I don't know how that works. I, I don't, have any association with whoop i just believe in their product if you like this if you like whoop you think you're going to try it consider using my referral link down below it'll get you a free month and it it does it helps me save a month of of expenses on my whoop plan but either way i don't have any association with whoop and so this is just because it is legit the best of any of the wellness and recovery tractors now this is next level so what you do is you get the invitation you go in here and it says like hey do you want to do this you um the completely before i did the clinical intake i had to um sign up for a plan which i just did the cheapest plan one time one lab 
check $199. Um, and then I did, I did do a health screening, which talked about, I forget, yeah, your health, your family, your habits and your goals, things like that. It took like maybe 10 or 12 minutes. And then it took me to the quest diagnostics. It, it pulled it all up within the app. So you didn't have to leave the app really, really, I, I expected it not to work. I was within seconds of the first person that could possibly be doing this. And it all worked really well. And it took me to schedule it. I scheduled it. I went there an hour later, they had my information. I scheduled it 40 minutes until I had to be there. I packed up my stuff at work and I drove and they had all my stuff. I was in and out in, in, in like eight minutes. And I mean, it was, it was 40 minutes after I looked at their available availability for today. And you get your lab and then within two to four days, because some of it has to be sent to different areas of the country, I'm gonna, it's all gonna upload and it's gonna upload like that. And then on the way home, I basically uploaded old labs because I had PDFs saved and it gave me actual insight all within an hour's time. And I had all of it done. It is so good, so good. But the, the value of the actionable stuff is just can't be, I can't say it enough. Okay, so in summary, you know, you wanna make sure you have a Quest Diagnostics near you. You can upload your own stuff. So be aware of that, that if you have some mail order thing or you can figure out how to get some of these labs, you can upload it. Um, they're still going to charge you probably for one lab in order to activate advanced labs. I can't, I'm not an expert in all these things and I'll maybe I'll do a full review after this, but it takes a full summary of, of health metrics that not your primary care physician is not getting. It's a really, really comprehensive list of markers and indicators. It summarizes the good ones, but highlights and primarily the bad ones are the ones that are off. It explains what they are and how they might relate to some part of your holistic health, whether it's your fitness ability, your cardiac health, your whole health. It gives you like sort of categories in some of those fields. It tells you how it's off, how much it's off, and what could be caused by it. It tells you what in your training history, your food intake, your journaling, what could be causing it further. And then you can have an AI interactive with how to solve it. You can tell it things like you take Element and it recommends some other potassium drinks and you can have true, true guidance. It is like a sort of a quasi version of a doctor that's taking real information from your blood and tying it in across your fitness and your um, food intake and your whole life that's in the app. Really, really awesome stuff. So again, if you like this, if you, Worth it. I do think Whoop's the best wellness, and I don't. I'll have a whole other video about like why I think it's better than even some of the ones that are coming out. It's much more comprehensive, much more healthy, much more better. If you like Whoop and you think about joining, please consider using my referral link down below. It'll save you a month, and it um, benefits my plan. But um, otherwise, I just want everybody to see this because this is hot off the press and worth every bit of your attention if you care about health and wellness and blood and all those details. There, it's a figure hunter. Thanks so much for watching.